Sports welcomes you to another great NFL matchup. We're glad you could join us for this game. It looks like just about anything could happen in this one as the Seahawks match up against the Dolphins. We're here for another great game. Welcome to the action. I'm Al Michaels, my partner, John Madden. When you look at how good an offense is, it all starts with a quarterback. They can do a lot more things with this guy throwing the football for him. He can make the touch passes or just fire one of the old bread basket if he has to. The Dolphins have a few receivers that he likes to throw to, and here's one of them. There's no question these two have developed that chemistry, and he's always finding an open spot on the defense to give his quarterback a target to hit. It wouldn't be surprising to see them hook up a few times in this one. This is a team that plays with one unit out there, and they're proving it right now. Look at them. They're all jumping up and down at the same time. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. Both teams. Let's get back to the action on the field. Johnson Seattle will be kicking will off. Be kicking off to start the game. Number 41. Back to nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the three-yard line. They're ready to go on offense for the first time. This is a good one to call. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 27. Fire out! The Dolphins line up with two backs behind the quarterback. First and 10. They'll pass on first down. Throw it. In the catch. The 40. And he's brought down at the 43. Boom. This defense will stop him for sure. Marino with a man in motion. Receives the handoff. Running back picks up about seven yards. Well, John, we can expect the running game to dominate with two of the best in the league on the field today. And when you look at their stats, the one thing that jumps out to me is their yards on third down. To me, what makes a good running back is the one that can get you the yards when you need them the most. And it's intercepted. So the defense combines an excellent pass rush with good coverage, and it becomes a turnover. I'll tell you, it's very important to have pressure on the quarterback. What that does is make the secondary's job a heck of a lot easier. And on that play, it led to an interception. Set. Good blocking up front and a nice game on the count. Yeah, and that was a perfect call in that situation. He did a nice job avoiding the first wave of defenders and converting for the first down. Surveying the field. Rolling right, so they'll lose yardage on that tackle. And the quarterback gets dumped for the center. His receiver might have had a step to the outside. But the rush got to him just before he could get rid of it. Now in second and long after the sack. Number 33, the lone back. Number 17. With a man in motion. Number 33, throws it out over to the left. Number 17, delivered the pass right on time, John. And I love the way this guy throws the football. He has great touch and seems to always be putting it right there in the number. This one falls incomplete. You better kick it here. Number eight comes in motion. Under pressure with the pass. Pass was incomplete. You don't see too many teams going for it the first half of the game. So why the game will there? Hey, I don't know. I guess you get in the heat of the battle and you think, hey, these guys can't stop me. But then you get stopped and you give the other team a chance. And if you hadn't got stopped on third down, you wouldn't be on fourth down. You can't bring them down. 
and he stopped at the 46 yard line. A smart coach would call this play. Second and about one. Ball on their own 46. Second and one. Ball on the 46 yard line. Drops back. Closing in. Incomplete pass. Good play by the defender to get in there and disrupt the pass. He had no choice but to get rid of the ball. Ball on the 46 yard line. Got all you got! Number 85. Moves in motion. Stiff arm. He'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. This defense is good. So we have first and 10 here. Ball on the 47 yard line. Get in there. Marino sets up. Hit him low. Give it all you got. Going to the right. So the lose yardage on that tackle by Green. Loss of around two. This is a good one to call. The backs are lined up in an eye. The Dolphins using motion. Drops back. Pressure coming. Throwing short to his left. Great pass. Not much there. They'll be faced with a long third down play here. Ball on their own 48. Seattle going to a prevent defense here as they back up the safeties and corners. Gets the pass off, and it's caught. Gain of seven. Time to call the special teams play. Harris lines up deep for the punt return. Here's the kick. Into the end zone. Touchback. Your halfback looks like a good option here. Set up some blocks and see if he can break it for a big game. Calling an audible now. They're trying to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. I'll tell you what happened. The defense was coming with a lot of guys in a run blitz, and the hole that that play was supposed to go through was filled with defenders. Pressure with the pass. Off the ball, he makes the catch anyway. Nice call going to the air, and that'll move the chain. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Number 17. Gets set. Man in motion. Came with a blitz and there wasn't anywhere to go. Yeah, and that's why you send all those guys to plug up the hole. At that time, there were no holes at all. Second and 13. All on the 29 yard line. Come on, partner. Hut. Under pressure, surveying the field. Stepping up. Throwing short to the right side. This pass is incomplete. No one there that time. Now it's third down after the incompletion. Miami looking for the pass as they line up with seven defensive backs. Using motion. Steps up. Scrambling. Gets the pass off. Pass was incomplete. The defense was clearly looking for the pass on that play. That was a pretty dangerous throw. When the defense came out only rushing three, you know they're looking back. And you have to take a little more time to find the open man. Number eight lines up in the backfield for the punt. Here's the punt. From the 26. A good return on that punt. Yep, he was one block away from getting into the open field and turning this one into a huge return. First and ten. Cowboy! Set! Hut! Hut! 
We'll see. They'll pay it to him first down. Closing in. Throwing. He was able to hit his target, picking up the first in the process. And that's a case of your receiver knowing where the marker is and the quarterback delivering the pass quickly. Set. We'll see. Huh? Huh? Bust his grill, D. Huh? 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 Dropping back oh, to the pass on first down. Throwing short to the right side. Two-yard game. This play might work. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. Ball on the 45-yard line. They got nothing. Marino sets up. Man in motion. Cross play to the right. Powering. He's taken down in the backfield. They were waiting for him as he's trying to take it to the outside. And that run started off going east and west, which isn't bad. But then it got worse and went south. Gets the pass off. Almost picked off. They're lucky that one wasn't picked off. Yeah, he started thinking about how he was going to take it back the other way and make a big play for the defense. He just forgot to bring the ball with him. Number four is back to punt. Here's the punt. And this punt will sail out of bounds. Follow your blocking on this run. When you see the lane open, just accelerate right through it. Looks like he's changing the play. He lost it. The fumble is scooped up. A heads-up play allows them to keep the ball. You always need to be awake out there. You never know when this type of thing is going to happen. Number 17. With a man in motion. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Rolling. Oh, he makes the catch anyway. And they beat the blitz on a good throw. That's a heck of a pass. He's got those big old defensive linemen flying right at him. And he showed great composure, making the right read and hitting his receiver. Number 33. The deep back. Ball on the 31 yard line. At the end of the first quarter, we're all even. Miami, zero. Seattle, zero. And we're ready to start the second quarter. He sees something in the defense. Number 88. In motion. Running right. Into the open. Loses the defender. Stiff arm to the ground. And he's forced out of bounds. At the 45, it's first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Here come the heat. Set. Yeah. Come on, partner. Have one. You got him. You got him. Number 17. With a man in motion. Passing on first down. Throwing short to his left. And he hits his target. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chain. The coach is having them hurry it up. Set. Pass play here on first down. Pressure gets rid of it, and it's complete. And a pickup of about two. Try not to get too predictable out there. Make sure you got a good mix of run and pass. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 38 yard line. Set. Get at him, Pete. Lose it, lose it. Hut. Under pressure, rowing. He has to find a way to get the pass off a little sooner. Getting pressure on the quarterback is the easiest way to disrupt a pass play. The defensive line should take full credit for that play. Set. Huh. Dropping back, closing in. He's looking, throws it. There he goes. Flips the tackle. Missed tackle. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. 
Looks like Looks he's like calling an audible. Using Get motion. He pulls oh. about a four-yard gain there. Use all of the field when passing. Make sure the defense can't just sit there on any particular route. Pressure coming. Steps up into the pocket. Looking for an option. Gets the pass off. The defense was a step behind on that play. When you have a receiver that makes catches like that, you need to get him the ball often. Directing traffic. yard gain by the running back. Get the ball to the open man. You can't give him an easy pick. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Pressure. He's scrambling around. He's looking. Gunning this one to the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. Great individual effort. Got that touchdown. Great job by the quarterback. Heck of a job by the receiver. And a great job by the offensive line. Heck, that was just a great job by everybody. Johnson comes in to attempt the point after. It's up. The extra point attempt is good. And obviously they're happy with that drive, especially since they ended it with a touchdown. The defense was on the field for a long time, and they just couldn't stop him. Give credit to the offense for doing such a great job of executing. And he got all of that one, a great kick. See if this possession is more effective after their last possession ended in the punt. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 19. Marino gets set. Man in motion. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure. Gets the pass off. Normally he's very sure-handed, but he couldn't find a way to bring that pass in with a completion. He can catch just about anything that the quarterback throws in his direction. He couldn't find a way to quiet that one down and bring it in for a catch. 94! Loses one tackle. Refuses to go down. Ten-yard gain that time. About a yard to go. Ball on their own 28. The offense lines up with split backs behind the quarterback. Here's an open. He goes down at the 37. Quick dump off on that play. The screen play is a key pass to have built into your offense. It's high percentage, gives the quarterback confidence, and gets him into a little rhythm. Closing in. Throws it. Gets him in stride. Quarterback lets it go, and it found its mark. This is one of those guys who's always had a pretty good arm. Well, I see him do a good job of reading the defense. Come on, get up. 22 is the deep back. Loses the defense. Gain of about five. A smart coach would call this play. They'll go from the I formation. Second and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. That one won't count since he was out of bounds. I'm not sure what happened there. That throw just got away from him a little bit. Pressure. He's looking. Throws it. With the adjustment, he has it. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. Come on, partner. Hill. 
Bryant created problems in the backfield on that one. Looks for a seam in the middle, but there's nothing there. The defense had great penetration, and they were right there to cover their gap assignments. Number 22 is the deep back. Rolling out to his right. Clearly, they were on the same page on that play. These days, offenses rely on a short, quick pass, and the receiver gaining lots of yards after the catch. So they need about three here. Ball on the three-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Under pressure, throwing. Perfect pass. Touchdown, Miami. And he's able to get open in the end zone. Great play. The defense just seemed to lose track of him down there. They have to do a better job keeping the play in front of him so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. So they're trying to tack on the extra point. The kick is up. The point after is good. And that drive was very impressive. Over 70 yards and a lot of time was used. Kept by the touchdown. You see the way those guys walked off the field, kind of had their heads down? The offense is just dominating them out there. The Seahawks will start the drive from the 32-yard line. Only one man back. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Set, hut. Pass play here on first down. Closing in. Rosen hits him in stride. Not quite far enough to pick up the first down. Yeah, and the guy calling the plays loves this kind of situation. Because on second and short, everything in the playbook is an option. Set. Hut. Back. Dropping back. Trying to buy some time. Looking for an option. Going long to the left. Ooh, nearly picked off. Up top they go, and it's almost intercepted. And he's lucky to come away with only an incompletion. I mean, he was thinking big play, and the defense was thinking INT. Man in motion. Toss play to the left, hurdles the defender. Number 33. Wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. Two minutes to go. Looks like he's calling an audible, using motion. Going to the right. Good pick up on the ground as they convert for the first. Here's the thing. They were looking run and brought the blitz. But the back just used his vision and elusiveness to avoid him and get past the marker. Number 83 goes in motion. Pressure coming. Throws it. No, he's got it. He was there to make the catch for the first down. He's glad he made that catch. I'm sure the quarterback will look his way again when he needs another first down. They'll try to mix things up here, but make sure not to do anything to jeopardize at least a field goal attempt before the half. He wasn't going to be denied his first set on that play. Not that game plan. You need to keep it stopped as much as possible. Now in second and long after the set. Miami comes out in their nickel package. Pressure, looking for an option. Nowhere to throw at that time. Nowhere to run either. He's got to do a better job of reading the defense before the snap. Then get the ball out to your check down receiver before the rush can get to you. Under pressure, flying time. He surveys the field. And he's hit as it throws. And a 
a fumble. The fumble is looped up. Seattle will call a timeout here. That's their first. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. Cut it away. Number 28. Looks like he's ready for the return. A high kick. And he waves for the fair catch. This is a good one to call. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 11. They'll take over at the 11. On the carry. Pickup of about a yard in the run. One yard gain on the play. At halftime, Miami, seven. Seattle, seven. And welcome back. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. Number five. He's just about ready to kick this one away. Booming kick downfield. Breaks the kick. Runs through the tackle. John, he's hurt. We'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known. Number 33. Well, John, we expected this game to be a showdown between two great running backs, but we haven't seen much from either one to this point. Well, they both looked a little sloppy. They've got some turnovers, some broken plays, and just not a lot of pop from either one of these teams. Just about two yards in the run by the halfback. Melissa, what can you tell us about his injury? Well, Al, the trainers were hopeful that it was a minor injury initially, but upon further inspection, it's a little bit more serious. It's an injury to the hand, and it looks like he will not return. Thank you. That was Melissa Stark with the update from the sideline. It's the pass off. Number 86. Beat the coverage on that pass. Soft hands like that are hard to find. This guy looks like he's a keeper. So let's pick up the action. Here we go. Harris is the deep back, calling an audible now. Man in motion. Harris, fumble. The defender brings him down at the 30. The Seahawks get it. Now, smart coach would punt the ball here. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. Here's the kick. He muffs it. The Dolphins are there to pick up the ball. Call this defense here. So it's first and ten following the punt. You got it. We got nothing. He tucks it away, and he's brought down at the 37. This is what I would call in this situation. Marino using split backs. Johnson in motion. Looking to run it here. Gain of about five. So they need about three here. Ball on their own 42. Get the ball. Here comes the heat. Dropping back. Closing in. It's a fumble. The Dolphins. The offense recovers its own fumble. They just dodged a bullet on that one. Now they have to do a better job of hanging on the ball because they might not be so lucky the next time. Number four will come into this game to punt. Harris will go back to accept this punt. Here's the punt. From the 13. So 
not a bad return. It's time to see what the offense can do now as they come back out onto the field. The coverage guys got downfield quick enough to prevent anything from developing. Using motion. And he stopped at the 26. The yard may be two on the count. Second and eight. The ball on their own 26. Looks like he's changing the play. Man in motion. They caught the defense out of position. And this defense is susceptible to that kind of thing. They're very aggressive. And the counter is designed to take advantage of that. You get them all going in one direction, then you cut back against the grain. Pressure coming. Scramble. Looking downfield. They'll take off into the open. Number 17. Slides in their feet first. Watch. Now, the key to this first down was the fact that the defense lost containment on the quarterback. He's out there running around, and that time, it got him a first down. Set. The quarterback gets set with only one first back behind him. Ball on the 46-yard line. Using motion. motion. <laughs> Pressure gets the pass off, and he hits his target. It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down, things like that. That's when he really shines out there. Under pressure, throws it at the 30. They move the sticks with that completion. I'll tell you, he put that one right on the money. They're just out there playing a little pitch and catch. Ball on the 21 yard line. Number 83 comes in motion. Here come the heat. Cowboy. Closing in. He surveys the field. Rolls right with the pass. And he makes the grab. One first down after another. Yeah, and they've got some rhythm going here. Someone in this defense needs to make a play if they're going to keep these guys out of the end zone. Set. First, first and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Pressure coming. He's rid of it. Touchdown, Seahawks. He gets that short pass into the end zone on that one. Yeah, that route was all about timing between the quarterback and his receiver. That guy knew exactly when the pass was going to get there. He turned around and boom, the pass was right on the money. Number 17 completes another drive with a beautiful touchdown pass. The extra point attempt is good. They made the defense look inept on that drive there. Chewing up more than half the field, taking more than four minutes, winding up with a touchdown. And that was a result of great play calling. They were able to get good chunks of yardage and that moved the chain. Eventually got them in the end zone. He decides not to return this one. So after being forced to punt the last time they had it, the offense heads back out onto the field. Set. Hut. Hut. Pressure throws it, and he hits his target. Number 22 has been very effective thus far. Five catches for him. This is a good one to call. Second and five. Ball on their own 25. Here comes the heat. The yeah. quarterback lines up with two moving. options behind him. It's the toss to the left. Gets one, maybe two yards on the toss. The backs are lined up in an eye. Ball on the 28-yard line. Sideline to sideline. Far up. Set. Back off, uh, Only a yard by the halfback. Time to call the special team play. So the lineup of 
punt after going three and out. Here's the kick. From the 25-yard line. He didn't have much to work with, but still got away a decent return. Hey, even if it doesn't seem like much, positive yards on a return is better than nothing. Number 33, the deep back. Under pressure, he surveys the field, slings it over the middle. Great throw. Here's the thing. You have to realize that in this league, if you're going to make a catch, somebody's going to be there and try and knock it out of you. This time, he does a great job of absorbing the hit and still making the catch. Closing in, looking for an option, stepping up to the end zone. Incomplete pass. He was there, but the pass slipped out of his hands. The coaching staff thinks that he has some of the best hands in the team. And it's surprising to see him drop a pass like that. Young moves in motion. Crosses it left. Gain of about five. Need a good release on this pass. Keep this drive moving. Harris, the lone setback. Ball on the 40-yard line. Sideline to sideline. Drops back. Pressure coming. Looking for a receiver. Rolling out to his right. He just kept dropping back and dropping back. I, yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking on that one. He must have been waiting on the routes to develop. And before his receivers could get open, he got leveled for a big loss. Walker is back to receive this kick. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Seahawks ahead of the Dolphins, 14-7. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. That was a smart thing to do with the coverage team closing in for a big hit. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 16. They line up in the eye formation. Number 22. Gain of about five. Now smart coach will call this defense. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Ball on the 20 yard line. Marino sets up. Four yard gain there. About a yard to go. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Third down conversions are usually a good barometer of how well your offense is playing. It means that your offense is making big plays when they need them. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. We're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Tucks it away. Nice pickup on the ground, maybe about six. Call this defense here. They need about three. Ball on the 50-yard line. Number 22 is the deep back. That play good for about a yard. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. Ball on the 48-yard line. Pressure, Rowan, almost intercepted. I thought that was about to be picked off, John. I bet you as soon as he let that go, he was wishing that he could have it back, because that could easily have been an interception. And this is the seventh play of this drive. He gets the carry. Great fake. Pump fakes. Run the football. Good running game will really open up the pass. Only one man back. Passing on first down. Under pressure. Looking for an option. Gives this one a ride to the left. The pass rolls incomplete. Almost, but no catch. He did a nice job of getting in position and giving the quarterback a good target. He just couldn't get it under control. Number 33. Closing in. Gets the pass off. Catch made on the run. That'll move the change, John. Yeah, when you put together a great pass with a heck of a catch, that's exactly what you're going to get. 
If you don't like what you see with the defense, you can always audible into something else. Set. Hawkeye right. Make it four. Give it all you got. Hut. Pressure coming. Scrambling around with the throw. This one falls incomplete. The key here is to step up into the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw it. A five-yard pickup on that run by the tailback. This is where you have to get some yardage and convert. Go with the play that you practice the most. Gets the pass off. And you give him time to find a receiver. Yeah, with this guy, he doesn't throw it behind them. He doesn't throw it over their head. He throws it where they're going. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Throwing on first down. Throws it. Incomplete. Had a man in the end zone, but overthrew the fans. You got to take your time and get your receiver a ball that he can make a play on. He didn't do it there. Set. Gets rid of it. This pass is incomplete. No pass reception on that play, John. And that's surprising considering his reputation. He's always been able to catch a ball. He has soft hands and good body control. He ran a good route, and the quarterback made the right read. He just didn't bring it in. Dropping back, pressure, gets the pass off, on the money. Touchdown, Seahawks. The defender was caught out of position on the score. Yeah, the defenders were looking one way while the play was going the other. Johnson comes in for the extra point. It's on its way, and he picks on the extra point. Good job moving the ball the length of the field for the touchdown. Big players make big plays, and that scores touchdowns. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field, and without them, no one gets into the end zone. He got all of that one. He downs it in the end zone. No return this time, and the offense heads out onto the field, taking over at the 20. Using motion. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure. Throwing short to the right side. With the adjustment, he has it. Good looking play. Hey, I like to see him get the fullback involved in the pass again. He's a pretty good option out of the backfield. He has quick feet, good hands. So passing to him sometimes is a pretty good idea. They'll go from the I formation. Closing in. Slings it out to the left. Harris was right there to break that play up. And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Let's go! Come on! Pressure coming, surveying the field. Throws it. Has it. Amazing play by Moore. The thing is, he got some separation there, and he was able to get him a big chunk of yards. Get in there, Lon! Going to the air on first down. Gets the pass off. Breaks free at the 30. And he's tackled at the 24. Call this defense here. This back loves to hit the defenders when they come close in for the tackle. He sees the hit coming. Lowers his shoulder, and then boom, the defender's left lying there in his back. One yard gain by the running back. This defense might work. Come on, partner. Out of the gun. Pressure, throwing. The pass ball's incomplete. Not much touch on that pass. He may have tried to put a little too much oomph on that throw. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversions. Third down conversions is a keeper staff. When you convert on third down, you keep three things. You keep your drive going, you keep their defense on the field, and you keep your defense resting on the sideline. Touchdown, Dolphins. This is a good special teams play.
we go back to the game. The lineup for the extra point. The kick is up, and he kicks on the extra point. And so they were able to end that long drive with a touchdown. The offensive unit was really in sync out there, running this offense and running it very well. Now that's just the type of thing that you come to expect from these guys. They do a really good job scripting the plays that they're going to be running, and they do a great job of executing them when they run them. Seattle to take a commanding lead with a touchdown here. They line up in the I formation. They'll start the drive at the 23-yard line. First and 10. Number 33. Under pressure. And so he gets himself another sack right there. Okay, go on a quick down here and just fling that ball in there. Now in second and long after the sack. Closing in, looking downfield, rolling right, tossing it over the middle. Number 17. He's closing in on 300 yards pass. Follow your blocking on this run. When you see the lane open, just accelerate right through it. down pressure coming looking for an option gets the pass off John he's hurt we'll get an update from Melissa as soon as the extent of the injury is known Using motion. Hand off to the tailback. One yard gain by the running back. Keep this to the inside. You just need to run that clock down. So they need about three here. Ball on the 42 yard line. Almost at the two minute mark now. Two minutes to the final gun. Time to give it to your halfback. Tell him to look for a hole to open up inside. Number 33, the lone back. Another run. Gain of about one. They couldn't get another first to run out the clock. They'll have to punt. So this will be about a 58-yard attempt Here's the long attempt. The kick was wide and off the mark. This play might work. Only one man back. Pressure. Gets rid of it. Turns. He has it. Keeping him at bay. Perfect spiral on that face. This is a guy who can make all the throws out there. He shows a nice touch in the short patterns, can thread it in there against tight coverage, and he can put some air in there when he's trying something downfield. Gets his hand on it. He almost got to him for the sack. He really had to rush that throw. That was a situation where the defensive line made the job easy for the defensive backs. The defense doing everything they can to keep this last drive out of the end zone. Under pressure, looking for a receiver. Incomplete. Look at the big old defensive line. There's a heck of a job of getting in the passing lane and knocking down the pass. Set. Huh. Huh. Drops back. Growing. And he's tackled at the 26 yard line. Let's see how this defense handles the no huddle. Closing in, good play in the backfield by Nash. 
This one is just about in the books. Keep this to the inside. We just need to run that clock down. So we have first and ten here. Ball on their own 30. Set. Young, the man in motion. <laughs> Miami will call a timeout here. They have one timeout remaining. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Only one man in the back to carry it. Miami will call a timeout here. That's their third and final timeout. I'm guessing this should be a run. The defense can't be lollygagging around because if they are and they give up a first, this one's over. Looking upfield. And he's brought down at the 36. I bet the defensive coordinator is telling his guys on the sidelines to get ready. Because it'll be up to them to stop any comeback attempt and hold on for the win. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. Seattle will call a timeout here. They have two timeouts left. There's no need to go for it here when you're down by this much. The last thing you want to do is get one of your starters hurt. So probably just punt. A high kick. Fair catch. There was no need to try and return that one. So he made the right decision there. The Dolphins line up in the shotgun. Backing off, Marino sends a man in motion. With the pass, and he makes the grab. The Seahawks. Great play by the defense to recover the fumble. Yeah, they were right there to jump on the ball. And it appears this one is going to be looked at. Yeah, and because it's in the last two minutes, that call came down from the replay booth. Clearly a big momentum shift could begin the making as we take a look and a possible fumble. And they really had no choice but to challenge us because of what it could mean for both teams. I don't know. It's a tough call from seeing that angle. It was unclear initially why they called for a review, but now we understand the reason. You have to give it to these officials. Their job's not easy. Sometimes they make mistakes, but most of the times they're right. Throws it, drops the interception. Well, they got to get into the end zone somehow here, or this could be over. The quarterback just has to throw it as far as he can and then maybe get a call to give him one more chance to force overtime. Catch the ball, man. Rowley. This pass is incomplete. Third and long. And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Third down is when you want your players to dig deep and make a clutch play. When you convert, it gives your defense a little extra rest, and it gives your offense a fresh set of downs to work with. And time runs out. The game is over. The final score is Seattle 21, Miami 14. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports. Congratulations to today's horse trailer player of the game.